Jason Allen is in Hearst tonight and joins us live with the details. Jason? Kim, it was a very quick attack, but enough to, to break bones in the victim's face and his ankle. It was a very quick video, too, just a few seconds, but enough to help police track down the suspect. In this short security video captured before an attack in May, there's a moment where the man ushering out his kids looks back. You could just tell he wasn't pleased, the fact that the man was talking to his children. Right after that, police said, is when Cleveland Crawford Jr. rushed back into the McDonald's and attacked the young man he was staring down. According to police, victim Colin Newman never did anything that night to provoke that reaction, other than saying something to the boys who were with Crawford. When he was struck, he uh, fractured two of the bones in his face um, on the left side, one by the nose and then one like right here. That was Crawford's mother telling us about his injuries back in June. Police said he's continuing to recover today. They weren't sure the video would be enough to identify their suspect. Our biggest fear was that he might have been passing through for business or something or traveling, and we might not hear anything. And it took a couple weeks to get a tip, but when they did, police said video and photo evidence all pointed to Crawford. He was already in the Tarrant County Jail on a threat charge and a probation violation from a robbery charge from three years ago. Police said that they have asked to talk to him in jail to find out more about the attack, but so far he is not interested in talking to them. We're live tonight in Hearst, Jason Allen, CBS 11 News.